And then it made me laugh. They did a Brian Danielson Minoru Suzuki video package. Really? If you're watching the buy-in, you know who they are and that they're wrestling on the buy-in. This was completely unnecessary. So what was yeah. the video package? Like, hey, this man, Brian Danielson's a great wrestler, and this guy, Suzuki, is a scary guy, and they're going to wrestle each other? Essentially. Wow. Yeah, yeah they were like... Uh... The, the whole reason that you're watching this show, we're going to tell you why you're watching this show. Yes. I feel like our listeners, when we talk about Raw, but they don't actually watch the show. I don't. I know. Yeah. That's my point. But you know what I did watch? I watched Brian Danielson and Minoru Suzuki. Lucky you. And you know what's funny about this is it was the last match I watched this entire weekend. I watched all of SmackDown. <laughs> okay. I watched all of Rampage. I watched all of Dynamite. And then when I'd finished all of those things, See. that's when I watched Brian Danielson versus Minoru Suzuki. Because you never know when something could go wrong with some recording. But sure. I know for sure that the YouTube match ain't going nowhere for eternity. So I saved it for the very end. I saved the best for last, actually. It certainly did. And the, the match that it hurt, quite frankly, was Brian Danielson versus Bobby Fish. Because that was a great main event to Dynamite. But then I immediately watched a better match. And so that poor match was kind of like, ah. See, see, yes, I watched them the opposite order. I watched so the Suzuki match first and then the Fish match. And the Fish match, I was like, this is good. But I saw a much better version of the same match last well, night. Well, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what happened. This is one of those matches where you can actually suspend your disbelief that oh, you certainly wrestling's can. a work. <laughs> I didn't suspend my disbelief, Craig, because this match was a shoot, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. These two guys beat the living shit out of each other. I put, did. I put here in my notes, in all caps, a glorious celebration of violence and fighting spirit. That's what Fair. it was. It was a it was a Minoru Suzuki G1 match on YouTube. Right. I still don't even know why. Uh, but uh, it actually had more views than probably most of the G1 matches uh, here in the U.S., perhaps all. But still, it was very weird to see this on YouTube and not Rampage or Dynamite. I could think of a couple of matches that I could have removed from Rampage or Dynamite and put on, on this buy-in here. But uh, I appreciate it. The match was great. It's, it's available forever. Like, you'll never be able to not find it. You know what I'm saying? If, if you recorded this on your DVR... Or, uh, God forbid, a VCR. Um, or if you didn't, like... in that it, possible in 2021? In a week, Is I think even... you can still get tapes, because yeah. Granny still gets them somehow. Right. But I, I think that, like, if you, if, you, if, you, if you didn't record it, you can't go and watch it next week, because there's no streaming service for AEW. Maybe some friendly bloke could put it on YouTube, but because it was on YouTube, you'll be able to find it forever. And so I, I, I reveled in it. And it was a it was twenty minutes of uh, striking and Correct. violence, yes, and more striking mm -hmm. and uh, selling and a lot of not selling, mm -hmm. and then a little more but, selling, but not selling in a good way. Oh, it was selling yes. in a great way. Yeah, yes. But I mean, the no, the, even the no selling was done the right way. Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah. And then at the end, they had a violent. I watched this match, and I think the only thing that they had planned was like the last. Oh, I'm sure. Twenty seconds. Mm -hmm. They, I, I presume they must have called all the rest of it in the ring. But there was What's a little... What's the call? Bit, you hit me, yes. I'll hit you. And there was a little bit of complication there in the final 10 seconds or so. They had to run a spot. Yeah. And then uh, Danielson hit the running knee and pinned him. And this fucking match was just out of this world. Like, I knew going in that it would be out of this world. And then I watched it, and it was confirmed that it was out of this world. Yes. Uh, yeah. The, st the story of this match was they would hit each other really hard, and it would hurt like hell. This is not like an Ishii match. He was not, there was no stone pit bull. Every time they hit each other, it hurt like hell, but they kept on fighting. There was a fighting spirit element. And <laughs> the funniest thing about it to me was this Miami crowd, they knew uh, Brian Danielson was wrestling, but they came to see a Daniel Bryan match. And they wanted to chant, yes, 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 and sometimes C, 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 because a strong... Uh, Spanish-speaking portion of the audience, and they wanted to chant, no, 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 and they wanted all that kind of wackiness. That's not what they got. They chanted it anyway, but what they got was, as you noted, a G1 main event. That's exactly what this was. And the crowd was shocked by that, pleased by it, but it's not what they were expecting. And in the end, Danielson hit the knee strike and won. Suzuki's life bar ran out first, is what it comes down to. Uh, this is tremendous. If for some reason you missed this match, please, please go watch it right now. My son, much like myself, kind of has a low resting pulse, doesn't really get excited about too much. 
and uh, we were at dinner, and I was watching on my iPhone uh, the buy-in, and he said, hey, what are you doing? I told him about the buy-in and whatnot, and he said, well, what's the main event? And I said, Minoru Suzuki against Brian Danielson. And his eyes grew wide, and he said, really? We got to watch that as soon as we get home. <laughs> I said, oh, you, you know about Minoru? And he's like, oh, yeah, he's awesome. Well, he is. You're a wise young man there, Craig. He's, uh, like I said, it's kind of hard to judge, you know, how, what his interest is in wrestling. And um, apparently he's all in. No pun intended. Yeah. Well, my daughter has no interest in wrestling because she's five. Sure. And today we played we played school. She likes to play school where she puts all of her animals down, and then I play the teacher, and I do school for the animals. That's crazy. I would never play yes. work. And I said, what do you want to learn today, animals? <laughs> And uh, one of the animals, one of the animals said, I want to learn about where the birds go in the winter. Oh, thank God. And I was like, huh. At least she didn't say what I thought she was going to say. Exactly. Right. Yeah. That's so, coming, uh, yeah. so I decided I was going to give her this lesson about astronomy. So oh. I got three balls, and I was like, this one's the Earth. So you did teach her everything. I said, this is the Earth, and then this one's the moon, and then this one's the sun, okay? What's mm -hmm. this one? The sun. No, that's the Earth. What's this one? The Earth. No, that's the moon. What's this one? The moon. No, that's the sun. This went on for like five minutes. And so finally I try and teach her all this stuff about the seasons and everything like that. And then uh, we finished the game, and then at the end I said, All right, animals, what did you learn today? Goat, what did you learn today? And so the goat said, I learned that the sun is in outer space. Okay. You're not wrong. That's how I felt when I learned that this match was out of this world. Mm. We both said it in the exact same way. Yeah. This match was out of this world just like the sun is in outer space. So I just want to give credit to both of these men for being fucking astronauts is what they were uh, here in this match. They, they were, yes. Yes. They were heroes. That's true. Yes. Yeah, when this is over, I decided Tony Khan should just pay Minoru Suzuki whatever he wants to move to the U.S. for a while. Oh, he'd That's probably nice. love it, quite frankly. Make him TOT champion as soon as possible. Just let him defend it for a year. He doesn't need to do shit over in this country. I mean, he goes to, you know, New Japan and he works hard and all that. But, I mean, here he could get away with zilch. Pretty much, And yes. he could still be awesome. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.